it is with great pleasure that I would like to um, introduce Professor um, Dr. Andrew Green, um, who will be the speaker at this inaugural um, CQF Wiley Lecture. Um, Andrew is the um, head of CVA FVA quantitative research at the Lloyds Banking Group. Um, but having taken a um, poke around his profile, that's not what um, impressed me most, but um, the fact that um, his academic work was in cosmology um, and his DPhil thesis was on multi-grid methods in cosmology. Um, please join me in welcoming Andrew Green. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> okay, um, so this evening I'm going to uh, talk about um, a relatively new aspect of the broader topic of XVA. So XVA, I think most people are familiar with the broad concept that we have a series of valuation adjustments that are applied in the context of derivative valuation uh, or economic valuation of derivatives. And I think most people are familiar with CVA, FVA um, as the two as uh, credit valuation adjustment and funding valuation adjustment, although the latter is still a little bit <clears throat> relatively controversial. Um, but the two new topics that we'll mention one this evening, which is KVA, or capital valuation adjustment, and that refers to the cost of capital of, that apply to derivatives, um, and but principally to MVA, or margin valuation adjustment. So that is the, the cost of basically initial margin. Um, not variation margin, but really initial margin. Sometimes you'll see it as IMVA, uh, and some, some, um, uh, there's been some commentary on, on using IMVA, but MVA, margin valuation adjustment. So what I'm going to do in, in this presentation is to introduce the concept. I'm going to walk through a derivation of a formula for MVA using the um, semi-replication framework that was uh, introduced by uh, Christoph Burgard and Mats Kaya in their Quant of the Year award-winning paper for, for 2014. Um, and then I'm going to talk about how you would actually go about implementing such a model and the problems that come from the implementation. Uh, and then finally we'll come through some numerical examples um, which show, try, which are meant to illustrate how big this is relative to other FVAs. So you get an idea of how important it is um, and as an issue relative to other quantities. 